Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about weapons that need their catalysts. In this video, we're going to be talking about eight exotics, four exotics that are going to be honorable mentions that don't need their catalysts, but heavily, heavily benefit from it. And then four exotics, if you're going to use, you really need their catalyst. So our four honorable mentions, we're going to talk about in bulk, those exotics being none other than the Thunderlord, the Galahorn, Leviathan's Breath, and then the Sleeper Simulant. Ironically, all four heavy weapons. Thunderlord's Catalyst allows you to shoot it for a continuous period of time if you're going to use this gun for boss damage. This is where you're going to want the Catalyst the most, as it'll cause you to reload way less during the damage phase, as causing a lightning strike with this weapon partially reloads the magazine from reserves. This Catalyst is part of the reason why Thunderlord saw a big rise in usage for doing some good boss damage. For Leviathan's Breath, what you're going to get from this gun's Catalyst or bow's Catalyst, rather, is a larger quiver size, but more importantly, archer's tempo because as we know that zero reload speed stat ain't looking so hot my boy so giving this bow archer's tempo hey that rhyme dramatically helps it out sleeper simulant is a linear fusion rifle that did not get affected by the linear nerf going into lightfall which could merit some value and its catalyst is very important it gives it a faster charge time going from over 970 down to 774 and you get an extra round in the magazine from three to four which if you're going to use this thing in a boss damage scenario both of those are very very crucial you could argue this weapon needs its catalyst honestly i think it does need its catalyst and then galahorn its catalyst gives it a nice buff and giving that juicy plus one in the magazine so it always has two along with final blows with full pack rounds spawn a faster more powerful missile at that target's location giving it a huge huge boost to its add clear capability which is why you see this gun in a lot of speed runs because you got heavy all over the place spamming g horn everywhere does definitely clear out the room however the reason why i have it as an honorable mention is because the main purpose of a g horn generally is to give the other legendary rockets in your fire team the pack hunter buff and it does that with out its catalyst so that's the first four exotics we're going to talk about however before we go any further i gotta tell you about a way to get your games at a cheaper price if you are looking to get your games for a cheaper price then i got the place for you instant gaming is the place to be think of them as the online retailer for getting your games for a cheaper price it's not a marketplace like g2a websites instant gaming is legit as they buy large quantities from suppliers which allows them to sell the game keys for a much cheaper price each key is directly from the supplier so you know you're not getting and jibbed of your money they support all platforms in pc playstation xbox and nintendo so they're bound to have a game that you definitely want and you can get for a cheaper option than you would for the standard price and on top of that they are doing monthly giveaways where they give you guys a free game of your choice if you win so if you want to save money on your games or enter a giveaway for a free game of your choice go ahead and check the two links at the very top of the description and a huge shout out to instant gaming for sponsoring this video now we got the other four exotics that we're going to be talking about for today's video let's just go ahead and stay in the heavy slot because the next weapon we're going to be talking about is none other than the good old legend of acrius this heavy shotgun has a handling of zero that's pretty bad however recently the catalyst got a huge upgrade it used to only give this gun deeper pockets which just was increased ammo reserves but now it also gets trench barrel which does so much for this weapon as you know trench barrel gives your shotgun increased damage handling and reload speed for a short duration or until three shots are fired after successful melee hit and for a gun that has zero handling and that base 20 reload speed that's huge catalyst also gives it plus 40 reload speed which will also happily take if you're going to use this gun make sure you get the catalyst which i'm pretty sure at this point you can get most of these catalysts just from like playlist activities now we're going to migrate over to the energy slot as we're talking about everybody's favorite exotic bow the trinity ghoul so the trinity ghoul's main perk lightning rod by itself allows this gun to have its next shot get chain lightning on precision kills but the catalyst does it a huge huge justice and that lightning rod will now trigger from any arc damage final blow it's pretty self-explanatory why this thing is so nasty it does fall off a little bit against majors this gun is just so easy to use to casually get rid of a lot of red bar enemies and it's still used to this day in some low mans and is really good on any arc build and his overall is just still such a fan favorite weapon it's hard not to love the good old ghoul now we go to the kinetic slot where we're going to be talking about the wither horde everybody's favorite grenade launcher mine included this gun literally does not go away it's used everywhere obviously this is like the easiest way to apply a damage over time to any sort of major boss anything like that but the catalyst is what keeps this gun always in the damage meta it gives it 37 handling basically meaning it maxes it out and then it gives it auto loading holster the catalyst is telling you 
hey bud, this is a swap weapon now. So make sure you're always swapping your Wither Horde. Because the Catalyst gives you max handling and auto-loading holster. Silly! Oh, and this was a seasonal weapon. A weapon you got on the season pass. And now we gotta talk about everybody's favorite sniper rifle, the Izanagi's Burden. I heard you like trucks, so I got you a sniper rifle that hits like one. The Helmed Edge perks is what makes this thing the Izanagi's. You consume the entire mag and load one round with additional range and damage. What's not to like about that? You know what the Catalyst does? It increases the damage bonus of Honed Edge when four bullets are consumed, aka the full mag. If you don't have the Catalyst, you're just not hitting like that, big dog. So, you should definitely get this gun's Catalyst. Absolutely, 100%. As we know, the Izanagi's Burden is one of the most infamous exotics for a reason, and this Catalyst is part of it. No other special can dish out as much damage as the Izanagi's can in one single instance, meaning it will always have a spot and it's why everybody recommends that new players get this gun. Which, obviously, at this point, you can just buy from the kiosk. Let me know your favorite exotic catalyst down in the comments below. I'm in Orlando this weekend for GCX, but I did try and pre-make some videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Y'all be safe. See you in the next one.